Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It is a really exciting day for a select amount of people who have saved up 7 star shards as the new Titan Crystal has updated. What's really interesting is sometimes Kabam announces that in the endgame inbox and sometimes they don't. But today, uh, they have. So we say missing a cursed sword shard. Uh huh. Some seven star pieces are available in the Necropolis and Guillotine's challenge objectives. Follow the link below. To... All right, so let's see if what it looks like officially. Okay, so we can see the seven star Deathless Sword Sword Shard Selector is live. It gives you for five thousand units. Gosh. For 5,000 units, it, it gives you one of the pieces you're missing, and I'm missing one piece. I didn't even realize that there was a timer to the last one. I thought I would do it eventually, didn't get around to it, and it's going to cost me. But there's going to be a 7-star, or at least a guillotine uh, objective, so I will have to purchase that at some point. Uh, but let's see what the new Titan Crystal Pool looks like. Let's just check it out. So, Bullseye, Thing, White Tiger, Cersei, there's Red Skull, Onslaught. Onslaught and Bullseye in this is going to be so annoying for so many people. Werewolf by Night is still in it as well. Um, Spider-Ham, OG Iron Man, Gladiator Vox, Photon, Jabari Panther. Could you please just remove Jabari Panther from the Caban, please? I've already opened two of them. Havoc's still there, Penny Parker. Uh, Kushala, who's a really good champion that has destroyed me in Battlegrounds multiple times. Um, White Tiger is also in this. That's huge. And so let's see what the uh, seven star basic pool, because until this thing is updated, okay. So Hyperion is now in this. Kindred and Silk are, is now in this. And so is Lady D and Danny Moonstar. And I want a seven star Hyperion really bad. I doubt I'll get him, but I want him bad. So that is certainly relevant to the conversation. Um, wow. So, that is all good news. I also think they're trying their best to not do what happened last time, where the basic pool didn't immediately reset, and they had to give out double the crystals as compensation, which was amazing for those summoners, but highly controversial for people who didn't know they could get double the crystals for the most valued crystals in the game if they caught Kabam in a coding glitch. Uh, new Champions of Inner the Titan Crystal has... New champions are added to the Titan Crystal. Some of the existing champions are removed and sent to the 7 Star Crystals Basic Pool for collection. To find out who's recently been added, follow the link to check out the crystals. Pretty cool, um, pretty cool new pool. My man Steven Burris, huge shout out. Favorite champion in the game since maybe even before he became the lord and savior of my channel when I opened him five out of six times at one point in a five star basic and featured crystal combination, which was still to this day statistically impossible and yet for everybody who was there it happened it's just hard to imagine ah uh, yeah he's he's a seven star thing is interesting because thing is a classic trophy uh champion by trophy champ i mean a puzzle piece champ i should say not really trophy champ because he needs to be awakened in that max sig to ultimately be effective and we are finally seeing seven star six stone crystals and a few generic seven star six stones with the Winter of Pain starting tomorrow, a.k.a. the Summer of Pain 2.0. And for Paragon players and Valiant players, you'll have a chance to get those points for the objectives. And I think they'll be there for two weeks, which is kind of cool. Doesn't mean you have to rush in. I'm still going to at least give the fight a try uh, and burn some energy because it's five, five per tile. So it definitely discourages you from just spamming 100 entries to get a good run. 
but at the same time, it's not so much that you can't uh, or you shouldn't be satisfied if you only get like 10% health down on your first run before you get knocked out. Uh, anyhow, this is um, a really interesting time in the game. I still think the game is dying more than it's growing, but Kabam's trying to hold on to that core demographic that has kept it going and has brought it to where it is, and I am, well, included in that demographic, I guess. Uh, are you happy with the new 7-star Titan Crystal Pool? Let me know in the comments below. I'm excited to try for a 7-star Hyperion sometime soon. Until then, have a good one.